This is the TAG ball screw kit video. This is what you're going to see when you open your box. You have the X and Y with the ball screws ready to go. We have your Z slide and we have chip shields and way covers. And we're going to show you how to put this all together right now. So here now we've taken the Z slide out of the box and this is how we've shipped it. Now you would just cut the tape along here and here and it would just come right apart. And there's a couple of screws underneath here uh, that you take out and the whole thing. This is of course rubber band is to keep this from turning uh, during shipment. And uh, after you get it all out, it's going to look just like this. Now, this is your Z column from your V-thread mill. Now, this would be a good time to point out that a lot of people make the mistake of not lubricating this uh, on a daily basis. Uh, it doesn't require any kind of specific oil. Uh, I like to use 30 weight oil with a little mix of transmission fluid but the biggest mistake that folks make is they don't lubricate the back. This is very important and sometimes their uh, Z slide isn't as efficient as it should be and uh, the reason is uh, a lot of people uh, that are working with wood well, the sawdust, of course, uh, just soaks up the oil, where it's kind of like cat litter, and uh, it just dries up. So you want to make sure that each time you use it, you rub your finger on there with some oil, and so it's nice and well lubricated, especially the sides here on this smaller one and a quarter inch piece. This is where your gib runs, right on this rail right here. We want some there. Uh, some people use STP. That's a little thick but uh, it clings and it seems to do a pretty good job but the decision ultimately is going to be yours. Now let's go ahead and put the Z slide on our Z column. Now when you get it uh, in the box from the factory you're going to have to loosen up the sides like so. Okay and we'll loosen this one up like so. All right. And this is already going to be back to the wide open position. But we're going to be able to slide this on just like so. Pretty loose. But the first thing we want to do is adjust this gib. That's going to be the left and right wiggle here. We're going to adjust this so we get a nice drag on it. The first thing we do is we're going to back off on the gib screw and tighten this one. Well, it's got a little bit of a drag on it, but we want to be sure, so let's tighten it so it doesn't move. There we go. Now we'll back off a little bit. That's pretty good. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tighten our side rails and that's so we don't have this up and down. Now normally now here at the shop we have a clamp that we put on this but we're showing you how to do this out in the field. You need to clamp your hands down here and pull it up. Tighten this one up. Keep pulling up. Tighten this one up. Just like so. We have a video that shows you how to do this as well uh, on the V threads. Then we'll go a little tighter here, push up on it a little tighter there, and then we'll tighten it up. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. Now, before we go any further, I want to show you this. Uh, now, if this was too loose, it would rock back and forth like so. Notice how it kind of comes to a stop, but yet, that's a real nice feel. That means the balls are just, just adjusted just right. There's two ball bearings in here, and they, they have to be preloaded. 
but that's a real nice fit right there. So let's push this down and we're going to put our screws in. Now these screws are the same ones that you took out. Go right in there, just like so. Got them both in. And we're ready to go. Now along with the Z-slide, there is a screw cover for the bottom and it comes with a package and an Allen wrench and two screws go up in here and they go up in here and it sits just like this and it covers the ball screw uh, from getting any uh, chips on it. But I want you to know that these ball screws are sealed. They have seals on them on both ends. They have these little uh, beautiful uh, nylon seals that are in there. So they are self-cleaning and self-wiping. Uh, that doesn't mean I, I, you'd throw a bunch of sand on it, but they do uh, self-clean. They are sealed. We have a, sh a shield for the upper, and it has a couple of screws that go on here. So you can see when this is all the way down, and it will go around your stepper motor and so forth. It's pretty simple. And then when you put it together, you could just make sure you tram it left and right and you're good to go.